Okay guys, this is the Spike 200 2007 again. Still feeling really, really stuffed up. Uh, this is March 24th. It is a Saturday, I believe. Yeah. Uh, it is currently 6.42 a.m. I am feeling really, really horrible. I can't sleep because my nose keeps clogging up. I'm taking my Sudafed that you guys can barely see. I took one of my Sudafeds uh, way, way long time ago. I took a uh, little small amount of my NyQuil and then I ran out. But nothing's helping this. Like, I don't know what I'm coming down with, but it is pulling my entire body down. Uh, honestly, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to go into work tonight because of how I'm feeling. Can't sleep, having trouble breathing, just due to the constant need to blow my nose and since I work in a fast food restaurant I probably shouldn't go in if I'm sneezing all the time and freaking blow my nose non-stop I'm trying to look for something to eat but the only thing that keeps passing my mind is go get some orange juice and have some chicken noodle soup uh, but anyways uh, bite is starting to bother my eyes I'm going to uh, log off here for right now uh, I don't know if I showed you this or not, but here's the Hero 2 camera. I got it in earlier today. It's fucking thing, it's hard to get light on. But just a basic little small device. It's, it's kind of cool. It's easy to assemble. Real nice camera. But I'm gonna get off here. Goodbye. Hi YouTubers, it's me it's Spike tomorrow 2007 again. Uh, it is 427 p.m. I'm getting ready to go to work because uh, I physically couldn't find anybody to help cover my shift. So, uh, God, I feel like shit. Uh, all I can say is, in times like this, specifically when you're sick, the FDA, Food and Drug Administration, would straight up tell a place you are not to allow sick people to be directly working with food or around food in a McDonald's environment I gotta sit down Ugh. in a McDonald's environment everybody is around or near the food at some point which means if you're sick the FDA would tell you you shouldn't even be working at McDonald's on those days this McDonald's out here is the only one I've ever seen or heard of that tells you you are in charge of finding your own replacements. Even the one in Papillion that I worked for, I, I can't speak for all McDonald's, but the one that I worked for in uh, Papillion, it was a corporate McDonald's. So keep in mind, it, it is run by the actual corporation of McDonald's, unlike this one, which is just run by random people that work out here, plus, uh, I don't remember his last name, and I wouldn't say it even if I did, but. The guy's name is Steve. He owns like 10 McDonald's, maybe 7, I don't know. But I've heard he owns quite a few of them. But overall, the FDA would have directly told the place you're not to have people working. Like Walmart, for instance, they have a strict policy. If you are sick, you sneeze so much as once, they'll tell you if we see you sneezing again, you will be sent home. This place, out here at McDonald's, I literally have heard of and seen people physically go to the bathroom they vomit they come back and then they ask to go home and the management staff will still tell them no you can't leave no you've already come in finish up your shift why am i saying this not because i care to get the day off i don't but in uh, canada's own words it's better to have healthy workers than workers that can't hardly work at all. And that was a phrase that some person in Canada a while back had stated. And basically all it is is in Canada they have a firm belief that they should always take care of their actual employees, their uh, people in general. Like I'm, I'm not saying even from corporate standpoints or business standpoints in general, just from a person to person standpoint. Yeah, uh, freaking headache. But uh, basically, out in Canada, they straight up tell people, if you need medical help, go to the medical offices. We will give 
new health care. Now, needless to say, it's been said that America does have way, way better health care anyways, but that's not the point. The point is that Canada would rather spend the time keeping their people healthier than waste time telling them, hey, you owe us a lot of money for trying to uh, help you out and get you away from being sick. Uh, I guess this vlog is kind of going all over the place. Uh, I literally I feel like shit. Like, I may not look like it, and I may barely sound like it, but I feel horrible. I literally could use another 12 hour nap and about four more showers because every time I went to bed I was waking up within about two to three hours and I would take about an hour shower and there was one point that I actually took a two hour shower just because uh, I, I do I just feel like shit and quite frankly I really wish I could have found someone to take over my shift today but I didn't so I'm gonna go in I'll be sick while I'm working there, and I guarantee I'll come back. I'll feel even worse tomorrow, probably. But hey, that's what you got to deal with when you work at McDonald's, out here at least, is the fact that they will literally threaten to fire you for shit like, I don't know, even what I'm doing. I, I would assume I can even be threatened to be fired or be fired just for stating stuff that is against the law uh, on YouTube. Not against the law on YouTube, I mean against the law for the place to be. Like, you could be saying, for instance, like how I said, the FDA would directly tell McDonald's, hey, your employees are sick. They are not to be around food. Just saying that and saying, hey, I'm from Fremont, Nebraska, they might actually try and fire my ass. Now, why would you fire an employee for telling the truth? Because they hate the truth. They don't like the fact that some people will directly state what they're doing wrong and get it out there. Because then, other people that watch these vlogs, or any person's vlog at all, like, I don't know, I've seen some people that stated that Walmart does the same thing. <laughs> Not out here, I don't. I used to work for Walmart. And out here, I sneezed once. And Walmart told me, do it again, you're going home. And it just so happened later on that day, I ended up having to sneeze, I did, and they sent my ass home. You could be vomiting, you could have massive diarrhea, I mean, any sickness at all you could come out with the flu and i've seen people come into work just because oh hey i need the paycheck and this job will not tell them no you cannot be here that is pretty much against the law and quite frankly if the food and drug administration came up and checked out the place randomly and seen people sick how they have been once in a while i guarantee they would tell mcdonald's hey you have to start letting people go because it's literally like I said it's against the law but I'm going to end this vlog right here I don't know why like my taste buds are all fucked up and stuff and I've got a stuffy nose headache my eyes are like really sensitive to the light right now for some reason uh, but I'm gonna let you guys go try and settle a little bit in my stomach before I go to work I'll talk to y'all later okay before I leave for work I just want to show this to Everybody, okay, let's shut it off. Come on, work properly. Yeah, for some reason recently, my bathroom light started just. Da -da 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 -da. So, I gotta get a maintenance person up here and have them fix that for whatever the hell reason it's doing that. But, yeah, anyways, bye. Okay guys, anyways, this is the end of this day's vlog. Uh, I think this is day 20, I don't know, you'll see in the description or whatever. Uh, anyways, I got my bathroom light to stop fucking blinking. All it was, uh, oh shit. Oh, fuck. So, so fucked up. All I did was I had to pull out, oh shit. I had to pull out one of the bulbs because the bottom bulb was actually partially fried so I remember back in electricity class one faulty bulb can actually cause an entire circuitry to go bad so I yanked it out and so it'll spare that bulb until it gets completely dead and shot too but I'm gonna try and put in a work order on Monday for them to come fix that uh, anyways I'm tired and worn down I feel like shit Still blowing my nose. I just gotta have a hot shower. But 
I'm gonna let you guys go. I'm gonna get some rest. Goodbye.